What's cracking guys? Omar Esop here, back with another video. In this video today, if you ever needed to know the reason why you probably should not consider steroids, this video is for you because what you're about to learn will shock you. It certainly shocked me. I'll be referencing a very important study, the Harlem study. The truth is, as revealed in the study, that between it's estimated four to 6% of gym goers will use anabolic assistance at some point in their lifting career. This is high, this is higher than ever before. There are more broccoli boys using anabolics than in the history of lifting. And this trend seems like it's going to continue. Well, I am natural and I advocate for the majority of people, for the majority of their goals to remain natural. I am not anti-steroids. I am, however, pro-informed choice. And that's why I'm referencing this Harlem study. So in the first place, let's answer this question. Why do people consider taking steroids, right? Anabolic androgenic steroids, we'll be referring to them uh, for the rest of the video as just steroids, the colloquial uh, term here. Steroids, there's many different reasons why people consider using them, but typically it's to build more muscle and or to get stronger. There is no disputing that steroids work in that regard. Out of the 100 participants, 100% reported strength increases, 100%. People are generally dissatisfied with their progress in the gym. So they aim to use something that is known to enhance their gain. Guess how many out of the 100 reported negative side effects? 97, oh, you think this is going to be a scare video? not even about this. This is not the shocking part. So 97 participants, right, from hyperhidrosis, so excessive sweating, 58 people, 58% of users reported issues with their libido, with their sex drive, with their ability to perform. So that's a very high amount. Uh, about a quarter experienced issues with gyno, right, as it related to the chest. Um, and then there's also alopecia, so hair loss, I think that was around 20%. Increased irritability, agitation, now sitting around 30%. Four out of the 100 people had a serious adverse effect. So we're talking about complications, so issues either with uh, the kidney, someone had uh, uh, ulcerative colitis flare-up, uh, someone had a heart issue. So these are all serious negative side effects, but I think that is not the part that needs to be discussed in terms of the space. I think it is the following. The individuals brought in the compounds that they're using, and so they buy, right? So where do they buy from? So black market, some sort of uh, illegal place. They bring it in, and then they tested it in this study. And this is the shocker right here. Only 47%, 47% of the bottles brought in contained what they claimed on the label. I, I didn't believe this was to be true. I actually contacted Dr. Alexander Colliari Turner. We had him on Iron Culture to talk about the study. I'm actually going to be talking to the chief endocrinologist that tested all these compounds, but it's true. So you think you're buying DECA and instead it's some trend. You think you're buying testosterone and maybe it's estrogen. There were only 13%, 13% of the bottles tested contain the purity and the potency of the claimed substance. When we talk about some of these compounds, this is incredibly serious, potentially dire. People might ask, oh, like, okay, so only four, about half, like, that's the risk you take, right? You wanna buy some of these things, maybe you get a little under, maybe you get a little over, maybe you get the wrong thing. What's the big deal? What is the big deal? This is not the same as buying vitamins and minerals, right? It's not like, oh, I'm taking vitamin C and in my vitamin C, it's a little underdose. When we're dealing with this complex interplay with your body, with your hormones over especially a long period of time, it can be disastrous. It's known as example uh, amongst women that it can lead certain compounds to permanent changes in your voice, uh, in men, issues permanently with either libido or your ability, your fertility to have children. And I'll give you a perfect little case study. We have with Rascal, my apparel company, our Rascal athlete, Classic Kissick, Carter Kissick. We signed him about three years ago. Great dude. So he was natural when we, uh, we signed him. And then he was open actually about his desire to use anabolic steroids. He did. And his first cycle was an unmitigated disaster because once again, he bought something online. Probably what was on the label certainly was not what was inside the bottle. We ended up getting fake testosterone or highly underdosed testosterone. We started laying the groundwork for what would be a total hormonal collapse. And I'm not once again trying to scare anyone, but I think you need to be informed of what you're doing and what is the outcome because we have a few different variables at play. 
And let's deal man this argument. Let's say, you know what, Omar, I got that pharmaceutical connection. I could take a trip to another country. I could buy these compounds. I want to do these things. Why are you trying to stop me? Well aware of what's involved. Believe me, I probably know more than you on the subject. Don't ever tell me what I can't do, ever! I'd say out of the people that choose to use anabolic androgenic steroids, I would say that a good portion can achieve the gains that they're after naturally they're just dissatisfied with both the time course and the effort and discipline it takes long term to achieve the result so when we see some of these tiktok boys the broccoli boys online and they're open about their use kudos to them and the results that they obtain we actually know that you can achieve most of these results naturally the things that people are talking about in the space they just don't want to put in the work and perhaps most shocking of all, when we have this conversation, people talk about using, but then it's a question of longevity because actually from Dr. Alexander Colliari Turner, his research, he had a few different participants, a few different case studies of people prior to them going on, them going on, and then afterwards, a year later, after they ceased using the steroids, and check this out. On average, I believe they gained about five kilograms of body weight while they're on. That's awesome. They made some serious gains, right? Well, afterwards, they basically remain the same body weight as when they started, meaning that as soon as they stopped using it after a period of a year, they lost it. They lost the increased probably muscle mass. Once again, more research needs to be done. We're talking about a very short, acute effect. So you have from these ephemeral gains and now you potentially have to be on them for a prolonged period of time. You can have some of these negative health outcomes and you don't even know what you're taking. And let me just have a heart to heart to you right now. Oh man, Mr. Broccoli Boy, Timmy, I'm gonna call you Timmy. Timmy with potentially future dinky issues. You want these gains but you don't wanna necessarily put in the work to obtain those gains, but you can if you just extend your time course from let's say you want it within a year to maybe seven or eight years, you bulk and then you go out after a cut, you keep getting stronger, you focus on progressive overload over time, you can get those results and you'll probably be more satisfied because perhaps most discouraging of all uh, of uh, some of this research in terms of some of the people that choose to use is that due to some of these negative side effects, they stop lifting and it stops becoming part of their routine. So really they're getting some of the short-term results that they want, but then because of some of the effects that they experience, they stop pursuing it altogether. And that is tragic. So when we had Dr. Alexander Colliari Turner on Iron Culture, and I'm going to link in the description, perhaps most shocking of all was the reveal by Alex that less than half of the compounds tested actually had the compound claimed on the bottle. That is the whole scope of this video, arming you with the right tools to make the proper choices. And again, I understand for some people viewing this video, Omar, you're natural. Once again, you advocate for these things. It sounds like you're really coming down on some of these people or their choices. But you have to understand from participating in this space, in this ecosystem for over a decade, you see some of these trends, you see some of these changes. I think this is something very important that more people need to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're back to uploading every single Monday a new video on the YouTube channel. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. <laughs>